Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with a quick Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to incorporate Google Street View and uh, Google 360 degree images into your renders uh, to use as environment lights. So we're going to be using a little bit of external software to do this and we're going to start by jumping into uh, svd360.iview.com and you can download this for either Windows or Mac. I'm using it on Windows here. I've checked it, uh, virus scanned it and I've checked that it's not communicating with the internet and to the best of my knowledge this software seems to be safe but use at your own risk. Um, so you'll start by downloading that and then we're going to jump into iStreetView.com which basically brings up a, a Google Maps style interface and what you're going to do here is find a nice spot on a map to jump into and you can use obviously the road but you could also use uh, the walking uh, tracks as well if they are available in the region that you're using. So I'm just going to use a piece of road though, um, a specific piece of road that I quite enjoyed in the South Island of New Zealand. Okay, so this spot seems pretty good. We've got some nice um, highlighted areas which will work as a nice light in the scene. Now this is obviously going to be a JPEG image which means it's 8-bit which means it is not HDR um, so we're not going to get full color depth from it but as long as we select it to sRGB we'll get a relatively close representation of the color that this can emit and so they can work um, as fairly realistic lighting uh, environment lights. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this panorama ID so open up Street View 360 and then paste in that um, ID that you just copied and select a location to save. I'm just going to save this to the desktop and then download the panorama and then download the panorama. Now this is at quite a high resolution and you may want to select a lower resolution so your scene uh, doesn't chug if you're on a lower end spec computer um, or if you don't want to download such a large file. So we've got it there. Let's add it into Blender now and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're here in Blender and the first thing I'm going to do is set my renderer to cycles and set it to GPU. And I'm also going to turn on optics denoising on both the viewport and the final render. I'm also just going to select my cube and move it up by a unit of one. So it's sitting on the ground plane there. So we can add in a plane and increase its scale. Now we're going to add in our HDRI image. So we're just going to select this button here next to color and select environment texture. And we're going to open our Milford Sound image. And now if we go to viewport rendering, so you'll see that now we've got the dome image in the scene. So what we can do now is turn this ground plane into a shadow catcher so we can just create a new material um, and we'll just quickly vis dev it here so we'll give it a value of one in specularity and a little bit of roughness there to sort of emulate the road and then we'll just change the color to one of the road colors so it sort of looks okay might be a bit too specular maybe back it off a little bit maybe something like that this isn't perfect obviously but this will do for uh, this tutorial then we're going to make this into a shadow catcher by changing its visibility into shadow catcher and you'll see there now it is invisible in the scene in the render but it is catching the shadow of the cube and the light is just being projected at the moment except for this light being on the light at the moment is just being projected from this sky here so we can add in an extra light if we want to help increase the value of that light output so it's a little bit closer to being realistic to what's in the scene here. Move the camera into position. Pause the render. Okay, so our camera's there. So our light needs to be on the left hand side to at about sort of 10 o'clock if you're looking at it from above. So let's grab our light again and we will change that into just a area light. Rectangle's fine. Increase the scale. Okay, so that light's roughly in the same position as that um, where the sun is behind the clouds there. So we'll just jump back into our camera, turn that render back on, and there we go. So we get a little bit more occlusion there now in that shadow where the uh, cube is meeting the ground. We'll just rotate it so it looks a little bit more interesting. 
and we'll select both of those and because the row is not quite straight we'll just rotate those a little bit to be on the same angle you can see the horizon is completely skew if um, and that's just because obviously roads have got a little bit of camber to them so the car is obviously on a bit of an angle so there you go something like that not really a shadow catching tutorial uh, or anything like that but i just thought i'd quickly add that in there so you could see how it worked so fairly realistic um, without doing too much to it and yeah so if you haven't seen the channel before um, we do a lot of tutorials for the DCCs we're going to be adding some more blender content so if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing and if you like the video obviously leave a like on it if there's any tutorials that you've seen that you can see in our back catalog of over 200 and something or other tutorials that you'd like to see done in blender we could have a look um, we're going to be doing more content for Blender with Render Man coming back out for Blender uh, next year uh, with version 24 and Redshift adding support currently though not fully integrated but getting there. So we want to do more stuff in Blender as we are already, already doing in Maya and Houdini. So make sure you subscribe for those and more content to come in the near future. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful make sure you leave a like so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking the link below.